Hello, everybody. Just wanted to, um, just had this an idea to start to be able to connect with all of you on my Everyday Comfort page. <clears throat> I just turned 50 years old this year in October and I had a little health scare just recently. I've noticed a black bump in my back and I'm not one to usually go to the doctors, but I said, okay, for a peace of mind, I'll call up my friend and he took a biopsy. And uh, it was a little alarming because he said that what I ended up having was a blood vessel tumor. And it was a very rare type of uh, lesion that he found. So he sent it over to San Francisco to get further testing. Well, it took about a week and a half for us to get the results. And during that time, week and a half, I was thinking, wow, just the fact that I may soon, perhaps, be near death. And that thought about being near death is like one that you just think, is it time for me to go now? I just turned 50 and I have lived a very peaceful life in the sense where I have faith with God and regardless of the outcome, I will have a lot of peace. My husband was worried sick and it was a pretty good wake up call for him. He was uh, super nice and very loving and affectionate. And when I asked him to do things around the house, he got it done very efficiently, which made me very happy. So it was a blessing in disguise with this, um, they call it the targetoid angioma. And um, thankfully it came out benign. But it was a good wake up call for me. And at this time in my life, I thought I'm 50 years old now and um, I have another half of my year, hopefully, to live. And there's a reason and a purpose why we all live. I do believe that we all have our time here on earth and we all have our time that we will eventually pass away. But in the meantime, I think it's very important that we all connect with one another. And sadly, because of the media and uh, the phones and textings, there's, no, there's not that many heart-to-heart -heart connections out there anymore from what I see. And it saddens my heart. So that's the reason why I decided, okay, I've been writing all my daily devotions and articles, and I speak to others, sharing everybody my life so far from my writings. And I thought, okay, then I'll go ahead and speak to everybody through video. So for those people who don't like to read as much, you can just watch any kind of encouragements maybe I may have to share with you for the day. Because one thing I know for sure, God has given me the gift of encouragement and of faith and um, a heart for people. So I thought, okay, I'll give this a try. And I hope it'll be encouraging for you. And I hope you enjoy it and any kind of feedback will be great. So as I think about certain topics to share with you, to encourage with you in our daily lives, um, I hope it'll be uplifting and a reminder for who God is and having faith in him is so important in our lives. And that'll help us to sustain through all the trials that we go through, all the temptations and all the chaos that may come abruptly into our lives. So with that note, I hope that um, you will stay tuned and listen to more of what I have to share to hopefully give you a little encouragement for the day, for the week, and just insights and things to ponder and think about so you can apply it into your own life. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Have a lovely day, and thank you for the time to watch me um, on video today. Bye-bye.